ini. Hello， 提下啊，就送那夹，那红的就没。Hi Sarah. Good evening. Ah, good afternoon. Hello, Tian. Okay, how are you? Ah, Sarah. Yeah, can you see? Sorry, can you see my picture? It's still freezing, so I was not able to fix it yet. I don't know. Or probably next week, I'm gonna fix it and I'll go to the shop. So, as my other teachers told me that ah, there is really a problem with the. Uh, with the Zoom, so they try to update Zoom, so there's a problem with that. Hi, Mother Tola. Haha. Hello. Good afternoon. Okay. So Sarah, so before we had, uh, we had. You still remember that we have in, we have. The elementary solution, right? Yes. Okay. So today <laughs> we're gonna have to do the cat listening, and after if we cannot finish, let us have elementary solution. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wait me. Hey, come on. Okay, so I will share to you now. So this one, Sarah.
Okay, so please try to listen and encircle the answer. So after this, if we finish early, Hi. let's have elementary solution. Okay. Okay. Ready, Sarah? What? Okay. Oh. Okay. Look at question one. One. Which day is the man's appointment? I'd like to make an appointment to see Dr. Owen tomorrow morning, please. That's Thursday. He's not free at all tomorrow. What about Friday afternoon? If not, it will have to be Monday morning. I can't come any afternoon. I suppose I'll have to have the morning appointment then. OK. We'll see you at nine. What's your name? Now listen again. I'd like to make an appointment to see Dr. Owen tomorrow morning, please. That's Thursday. He's not free at all tomorrow. What about Friday afternoon? If not, it will have to be Monday morning. I can't come any afternoon. I suppose I'll have to have the morning appointment then. OK. We'll see you at nine. What's your name? Two. What is the woman going to eat? I'm going to have chicken and salad. What would you like? Um, the soup looks good, but the weather's a bit too warm for anything hot. Huh? Why don't you have sandwiches? They don't look very nice. I think I'll have the same as you. Now listen again. I'm going to have chicken and salad. What would you like? Um, the soup looks good, but the weather's a bit too warm for anything hot. Why don't you have sandwiches? They don't look very nice. I think I'll have the same as you. Three. Which train will the woman take? When is the next train to Ashford? I'm afraid you're just too late for the 11.30. The next one is 12.45, but you'll have to change trains. The 2.15 is quicker because it goes straight to Ashford. I don't mind changing trains. I'll have a return ticket, please. There you are. Now listen again. When is the next train to Ashford? I'm afraid you're just too late for the 11.30. The next one is 12.45, but you'll have to change trains. The 2.15 is quicker because it goes straight to Ashford. I don't mind changing trains. I'll have a return ticket, please. There you are. Four. How much did the man pay for the camera? I've bought a new camera. It looks expensive. Cameras like that cost about £150, don't they? This was £175, but the man in the shop took £15 off the price because it was in the shop window and there was no box for it. £160 is still a lot of money. I hope it takes good pictures. Now listen again. I've bought a new camera. It looks expensive. Cameras like that cost about £150, don't they? This was £175, but the man in the shop took £15 off the price because it was in the shop window and there was no box for it. £160 is still a lot of money. I hope it takes good pictures. Five. Which race did the girl win? Were you at the sports competition on Saturday? Yes. I saw you come first in your bicycle race. But your best sport is swimming, isn't it? Yes, but I was second in that. Next year, I'm going to try running in the 800 metres too. Wow. You are good at sports.
Now listen again. Were you at the sports competition on Saturday? Yes. I saw you come first in your bicycle race. But your best sport is swimming, isn't it? Yes, but I was second in that. Next year, I'm going to try running in the 800 metres too. Wow, you are good at sports. This is the end of part one. OK. So first, yes. which day is the man's appointment, Sarah? It's letter it's on Monday. Letter C, very good. What is the woman going to eat, Sarah? Chicken and salad. Letter B. And three, which brain will the woman take? 12.45. Four. How much did the man pay for the camera? 160 pounds. Julian, hello, so. Sira, Anna. Okay, very good. Which race, Sarah, did the girl win? Is Oh, very good. Wow, perfect. Great job, Sarah. Okay. So this one. You listen to Rosie. Talking to a friend about places for a party. Which is the problem with each place? Let's listen. Which is the problem? with each of these places. So we have here in the left, the problem places, and on the right, the problems. Now look at part two. Listen to Rosie talking to a friend about places for a party. What is the problem with each place? For questions six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each place. You will hear the conversation twice. Have you found a room for your birthday party yet, Rosie? Yes, at the University Hotel. It's old, but the room's nice and big. Did you look at any other places? Yes, five. And there was something wrong with all of them. Why didn't you like Brown's Cafe? I loved it, but they're putting in a new kitchen so they won't be open for two months. Mm. And the Rivers Hotel? It was very cold when I went there last year. It's quite warm now, but it's not very clean. Oh, pity. What about the Bridge Restaurant? Or is it too dark there? No, but the problem is none of their rooms is free on my birthday. And it's expensive. Not really. But the garden house is. Oh, yes, I know. I had a great dinner party at the Opera Cafe last week. It's fine for a dinner, but it's not big enough for a party. So, the University Hotel it is then? Yes. I'm finished. Now listen yeah. again. OK. So Have you found a room have... for your birthday okay. party? So we have here Brown's Cafe. What is the problem with the Brown's Cafe? So there is letter A. Okay, it is closed already, teacher. Next. Rivers Hotel. What is the problem with Rivers Hotel? Too dirty. Okay, letter D. And A. Bridge Restaurant. What is the problem for this? Letter? It's full. F. Yay. And garden house? Letter E. Is and opera cafe? It is small. Okay, letter H. It is small. Wow, very good, Sarah. Great job, Sarah. Okay, next one, Sarah. Okay, listen to Joey here asking about French language course for questions 11 to 15 check 
A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation two times. Okay. Look at part three. Listen to Joe asking about a French language course. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Hello. I'd like some information about French courses, please. Certainly. Beginners classes are on Wednesdays. Other classes are on Mondays or Fridays. I'm a beginner and I'm going to France on holiday. I want to speak to people in shops and read information in museums and other places. Do French for tourists, then. It'll be better than our business class, and you want more than French conversation. Great. I can only come in the evening. Fine. It starts at half past six. There's a break at quarter past seven, and you go on until half past eight. Is it a big class? We never have fewer than nine students, or more than fifteen, and, let me see, there are 14 at the moment, so with you, the class will be full. OK. What about the course book? You'll get that in the first class, and a special notebook. Bring a dictionary, that's always useful. Fine. Oh, how much is the course? It's £170 for people from outside the city, but it's £25 less, or £145 if you live here. Oh, I do. Good. So, let me just take your name. Now listen again. Hello. I'm finished. I'd like some information about... Did you add a Yeah, certainly. Okay. Now, we have here the lessons for beginners are on... Oh, it's Wednesday, the answer. Two. Sarah, the best class for you is what? The best class for you French is what? French for tourists. It is for? French, French for tourists. Very good. Yay, wow, Sarah. Girl. And Joe's class begins at what time? Jules' class begins at six, half past six. Half past half six. past six. Okay, now, how many other students will there be in Jules' class? There will be fourteen students. One, four. Okay. Okay, next. What should you take to his first class? What should you take to his first class? It's the dictionary. dictionary. Okay, and 15. <laughs> you will pay what? You will pay 145 pounds. Okay. Very good. Wow, Sarah. Always, oh, Sarah, you're doing great. Do you like elementary solution, right? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it, Sarah, the elementary solution materials? Okay, so for, for, yeah. for Saya, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, can you hear me clearly? Yes, but sometimes I can see you. You cannot see me? Oh, you cannot see me. <laughs> my inter my Zoom, Sarah, is not working. Look, uh, this is okay. Okay, that would be okay. And after a while, oh, uh, look, I am freezing. 
Okay, I don't know why. Okay, so you will hear a girl asking for information about going to Kendall by bus. You listen and complete question 16 to 20. Okay, I'm freezing again. Listen, Sarah. Now look okay, at part perfect, four. almost perfect now. You will hear a girl asking for information about going to Kendall by bus. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning, Bus Travel Centre. Hello, I'm phoning about buses to Kendall. I'd like to travel there early. What time does the first bus leave? The first Kendall bus, that's 6.45 a.m. And how much is a ticket? It's £18.25 for a single, and a return is £26. Will the ticket office be open so early in the morning? No, but when you get on the bus, the driver will sell you a ticket. Please have the right money for him. OK, fine. Can you tell me where the bus station is? Yes, it's in Gately Street. That's G-A-T-E-L-Y. I'm not sure where that is. It's in the city centre. Do you know the museum? It's next to that. Oh, yes, I know. And can I get something to eat at the station? I'm afraid there isn't a cafe, but there is a small shop. You can get newspapers and drinks there. Oh, I'll bring some sandwiches then. Thank you. Goodbye. Now listen again. I've seen it. Good morning. Bye. Bus travel okay. centre. Hello. So here is the bus to Kendall. Okay, first bus leaves at what time? 6.45. But the cost of single ticket is very good, correct? 18 is military time, but 16.24. Buy ticket from where? Driver. Driver. And address of the bus station? Gately Street. Gately Street. Next. This is next to what's next to this bus station? Museum. Next to museum. Okay, oh, very good. At, okay, museum. Oh, no. mm. Okay, at bus station, you can buy what? Drinks and newspaper. Okay, drinks and newspaper. <coughs> Okay, next, 25. Please listen. Now look at part five. You will hear a telephone message about a trip to the theater. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Hi, Jamie. This is Michael. Sorry you're not in. Would you like to come to the theatre with me? There's a play on called The Dinner Party. It's about a group of friends who meet again after 25 years for a meal. People say it's really good. I know it's your birthday on August the 27th. Well, the play is on the 29th. Yeah. I'll pay for your ticket as a birthday present, if you like. It's in the new theatre. It's that big building in Church Street, just across the road from the library. It hasn't been open long, and it's very nice and modern inside. The play starts at 8 o'clock. 
so why don't we meet in the coffee bar first? I'll see you there at 6.45 and we can have a drink before it Sarah, starts. Sarah, excuse me for a while. If you'd like to come, call me on my mobile. The number's 0774-32316. Speak to you soon. Bye. Oh, listen again. Hi, Jamie. This is Michael. Sorry you're not in. Would you like to come to the theatre with me? There's a play on called The Dinner Party. It's about a group of friends who meet again after 25 years for a meal. People say it's really good. I know it's your birthday on August the 27th. Well, the play is on the 29th. I'll pay for your ticket as a birthday present, if you like. It's in the new theatre. It's that big building in Church Street, just across the road from the library. It hasn't been open long, and it's very nice and modern inside. The play starts at 8 o'clock, so why don't we meet in the coffee bar first? I'll see you there at 6.45 and we can have a drink before it starts. If you'd like to come, call me on my mobile. The number's 0774-32316. Speak to you soon. Bye. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Okay, so we have here the telephone message. Okay, to Jamie from Michael. Wait a Jamie. minute. Yeah, yeah, okay. My God. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Six. 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 Okay, dear. Four. Okay. Okay, let's see name of the play. It's the dinner party. <laughs> Eight, it's mm -hmm. 29, and the theater is opposite to the library. Mm -hmm. And you will want to meet Michael at what time, Sarah? 6 45. Mm -hmm. And mobile number 077432 Two one six. Ah, oh, this there is no three here. Two one six. Okay, there is an extra three here. Okay, but the rest of your answers are all correct. Yay! Okay, so now let's move to elementary solution. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, wait me a minute, Sarah.
Okay, so we have here 